Where did the name Young Magnificent come from and what does it stand for? Well, first and foremost, it's, it, 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 it's, it, it come from my hurt and my pain, my struggle. Like it come, it come from, it come from me. And that's what it stands for. It stands for my hurt and my struggle and my pain. But also, it come from where I'm from, the Magnificent Seven. Got you, got you. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And what was it like uh, growing up um, where you were from? It was fun. You know, it was it was hard. It was rough. It wasn't it wasn't the normal. It wasn't the usual. Mm -hmm. Especially at my age, the the life I was in with the people I was around. Yo, G Connect. Uh, as a youngin', do it all for the G. I'm only conversations, tapping the mental. We trying to build like a king. Oh, Sit down with G Connect, gotta think. While I'm spitting the game with bass. I got a shout out today. As a youngin', do it all for the G. I'm holding conversations, tapping the mental. We trying to build like a king. Sit down with G Connect, gotta think. Uh, while spitting game with the bass. I got a shout out today. Uh, you say, hmm, Ayla, huh? Sean Magnificent tapping in with my big dog, G Connect, man. With different generations, have real conversations, man. If you ain't tapping in with him, you ain't tapping in with nobody. Yo, what's the deal with it, man? It's your boy, Creep the Guapine, tapping in with my boy, G Connect. You know what I'm saying? Where different generations have real conversations. You know what it is. Yo, this big whack, I'm on G Connect with my, with my, with my big homie. Bill Blast, you know what I'm saying? Y'all check in, nigga, get checked out. What it do, folks? It's your boy, G2Bs. And Lady O. And this is Generation Conversation Network, better known as G Collect. And today we got the one and only Young Magnificent in the building. What's good with you, brother? Yeah, yeah. Hey, love. What's up with LG? How you doing, man? Oh, man, you know, trying to make it happen, man, you know. For the people that don't know Magnificent, where was Magnificent born, bro? South Central Los Angeles, man. Mm -hmm. South Central Los Angeles, but not just anywhere. I come, I'm, I'm, I'm from Hover. Okay. I'm from the most hated gang in the city. I'm from Hover. Oh, dang. <laughs> Tilt your, tilt your camera back just a little bit so it'll get your whole head. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah. All right. And then what schools did you attend growing up? Growing up, I went to uh, continuation school. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't go to... Uh, the regular schools, huh? Yeah, I couldn't go to public schools. My mama wasn't having it. <laughs> hey, mama wasn't having it. Mama wasn't having it. Where did, the, where did the name Young Magnificent come from and what does it stand for? Well, first and foremost, it's it it, it it it's it it come from my hurt and my pain, my struggle. Like it come it come from it come from me, and that's what it stands for. It stands for my hurt, and my struggle, and my pain. But also, it come from where I'm from, the Magnificent Seven. Got you, got you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what was it like um, growing up um, where you were from? It was fun. You know, it was it was hard. It was rough. It wasn't it wasn't the normal. It wasn't the usual. Mm -hmm. Especially at my age, the the life I was in with the people I was around. Yeah, it was it was it was fun. It was interesting. Well, for us at the time, but <laughs> right. But at the same time. It was fucked up. Like it was, yeah, that's not the that's not the way. That's not the way people want to grow up. That's not the way I want these kids to grow up. Absolutely. Do you have kids? No. No. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. What what music did you grow up listening to? Um your I grew up listening to your household. I grew up listening to a lot of R and B, a lot of oldies, you know. My mom, my mom's and it was always into the old school, so a lot of oldies. And then when it came to the the, the rap, it started with it started with Romeo, mm -hmm. and then it and then it proceeded, and then it got to the Nelly, then it got to the the G Unit, to the East Siders, and then it just carried on. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. 
So when did you start rapping? I always been rapping since I was like seven. Okay. Since I was like seven years old, I always been good with words. Oh. What what music do you listen to today? I listen to a lot of myself. I got a lot of unreleased music. I listen to Mo Three. I listen to Nipsey, Rod Wave. I listen. I listen to uh, Young Threat, Jay Hardless. That's really about it. Pope, you know. Did you start off solo or part of a group? No, I've always been by myself. Mm -hmm. There's never no group. Always by myself. Right. What do most people misunderstand about Magnificent? That 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 I'm not understanding. I'm overstanding. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And then, out of all of your projects you worked on the date, what would you say are the ones that you're probably most proud of? Out of the songs on the project? Out of any projects, songs you did with people? That was my first project. The first project I just put out, 716 Degrees, out now, everywhere. Y'all tap in with it, go run them strings up. That's the first EP I ever put out. Oh, okay. What, what's your favorite song on that project? Catch One. What's the meaning behind it? I'll catch one on a stretch one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, but, uh, also, uh, if you pay attention to the melody, it's a it's a uh uh it's a Aaliyah remake. Like mm. you know, it had nothing to do with the beat and them, but I just took that melody and, and went with it. Okay. Do you remember your first song? <laughs> he so went down on now. Uh, uh uh, I do. It's, it was called Cold War, I believe. Okay. Do you remember how old you was or around the time you wrote that? Like six or seven. Yeah, because when you said you, you've been rapping since about seven, I was like, if he wrote something or had something going on at seven, can he remember that far I was back? Trying. Well, I was trying. But it was good for my age. I knew how to name a song. It was called Cold War. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely good for a seven-year-old. Um, can you name three people who have been most influential in, um, to you throughout your music or even life? That's a good question. Sometimes I think we don't. I gotta say my right hand man, my right hand man, my brother Tony Buddha. Mm -hmm. I gotta say my baby sister, it's my baby girl AJ, and myself. Yeah. Are you working on any new projects today? Oh yes, sir. I'm putting together a 15 song album. 15 song. I'm trying to minimize the, the features because I want to I really want to rock it dolly, but mm -hmm. how, many, how, how, how many tracks you got on 17 17 degrees? Uh seven. Oh. seven. Okay. Well, streams running up. Set 2.6 million streams already. And that's just on Spotify. So I feel good. Yeah, I was going to say, I got to feel good to yeah, get the streams going. Absolutely. Yes, I'm blessed. <laughs> How did you become part of the 100 team? How did that happen? Uh, My cousin Pitbull. Oh, okay. I'm, I, met, I met with him March 19th of last year. Was, was you able to go on that trip that, uh, that he took? That he went out to Dubai with uh with everybody. No, nah, no, nah, I didn't go. I didn't go on that trip. I was in the studio working. And then, can you tell us something interesting about you? Most people don't know. Mm. That's a good question because it's a lot, but uh. 
I'm into life. Mm. Like, I'm into life, like, you know, like nature, mm. that sort of thing, animals, like going out, that's me. Have you ever been hiking? No. Would you? That's what I that's how you would I be. I can't wait to go. Right. <laughs> and I think I'm a comedian, too. <laughs> I think I'm a comedian. I'm a comedian, too. Okay. It depends on the environment, house. huh? We're going to open up the Orange House Comedy Club. Mm. Ain't nothing wrong well, with that. Let us know when. We might have to come see right. your comedic style. Yes, man. Yes, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. what's, what's one thing you wish you knew when you begin your career? How to engage more, like far as the people wise, like how to, you know, the, the social media, like. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, social media changed a lot of things in a lot it of ways. Play, it play a major part. Right. Like, and that's what everybody is on. And it go from one extreme to the next. It started with, what was that, MySpace? Mm -hmm. It was before MySpace. I don't even know. What? And it went to Facebook. Then it went to Instagram um, and all that other shit. <laughs> Snapchat. Before MySpace, we had the one eight hundred party line, which is now known today as Clubhouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Change the party line to Clubhouse. <laughs> yeah, the party line. We had the party line. So that's when we had the long cords. Nigga be on the house phone talking smack to everybody on the phone. But yeah, I wasn't. I I ain't, I ain't really too much know about that one. Yeah, that that that's 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 before your time right there. That's the oh. point. Ask anybody that's a, a, of age over you that they'll tell you about that one eight hundred party line. That was it's it's the exact same thing that Clubhouse is without the app. Mm. Everybody get Clubhouse on there. Clubhouse popping, huh? It's Clubhouse popping. Yeah, yeah. It's the that was party line back in the day. That was party line back in the day. <laughs> Many people sit on there and talk. You the same way. Everybody in the mama on LA on this one channel. Mm. You know, on this one phone mm -hmm. line, going there, cussing each other out, talking smack. You know, same same clubhouse environment. Absolutely. What's um one of your biggest mistakes, and what did you learn from it? One of my biggest mistakes. Or you could just whatever put mistake. Putting the ring on that, putting the ring on that bitch. Mm -mm -mm. You did that. Mm -hmm. That was the that was wrong saying? one. Mm -hmm. Trifling. You trifling, no good. Ugh. Oh, man. Yes. Got caught up. Yeah. She, she, she did me in. She played the good one. She played the trick on me. Oh, man. Well, hopefully you learned from that. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. How, how I got you? a whole little. I got a whole little. Love story. Oh shoot! That, <laughs> that's gonna be your uh stand up comedy. Uh, no, it's gonna be in my music. Oh okay. It's like a it's like a like a like a authentic like nigga lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lifetime movie, huh? For the hood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ain't mad at you. How how do you feel about the violence that's plaguing your generation today? It's fucked up because most of, I ain't gonna say most shit. More than more than most don't even know what they're doing. Don't even not know what they're doing. Don't even know what it's for. Mm -hmm. They ain't, they don't know no background behind it, no history, no. It's just mm -hmm. basically now y'all did something to my cousin when I was little, so it's fuck y'all. I'm gonna beefing with y'all beefing with. Mm -hmm. It's sad. Yeah. No history. Yeah. Don't know the history. Don't know right. that history. Then they then they get to telling on each other and uh, we wasn't raised like that. Mm -mm. We weren't raised mm -hmm. like that. Totally different. Mm -hmm. Not just social media, but mm -hmm. everybody got they quit to use a gun because they can't fight or they scared. And it's just fucked up. It's it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's tearing the youth apart. Absolutely. And a lot of, and a lot got to do with music too. Because these kids is very influenced by the music. So when they listen to you, holler gang gang, shoot them up. That's what type time they on. Mm -hmm. That's why I say I don't rap. I speak the truth. I'm the truth for the youth. 
That's right. I ain't gonna lie to him. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell it to you how it is. Yeah. Yep. And I definitely appreciate you going that route. Man. The other route. Like you said, you can still talk about the stuff because you experience mm -hmm. it. You're in the streets. Mm -hmm. But, but you also but, have to talk about some stuff that's going to change that whole mindset, you know? But even when I talk about it, I'll talk about it to a certain extent to where it's a message. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not glorifying it. Like, especially where I'm from. Most hated. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's very few songs you can really hear me say where I'm from or like, because right. I put it in different ways. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And, I, and I'm, I'm making my music for everybody. Yeah. No matter where you find, I want you to be able to vibe to it and feel it and relate. Yeah. Uh, no. This, no this and no sneak this and no, no yeah, none, none of that. that. Mm. Ain't none of that. If I got a problem with a nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you know what it is. And mm. it ain't going to be in no song either. Right. <laughs> Live and direct. It's not going to be yeah. publicized. Huh? Yeah, I'm wait till I see you. I'm going to get at you. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Lady O. No, knowing what you know today, what advice would you give um, someone trying to get in the business today? Fuck everybody else. Worry about yourself. You don't never stop. You can do it, but you fuck everybody else. At the end of the day, is is who put in the pain, who put in the sweat and the tears. Right. Because not everybody meant to go with you to the next level, right? Mm -hmm. I, finally, I finally understand. Rest is so nifty. Everybody can't go. Yeah, everybody I finally can't. understand what he meant. Mm -hmm. Who has been? Who has been one of your biggest mentors or role models over the course of your career? As far as music wise, yeah. Nipsey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Understandable. And um, what motivates you to get up and start your day? Opening my eyes. Just the fact that I'm able to open my eyes. Mm -hmm. And I think it probably have a lot to do with you wanting to get your message out there and mm -hmm. kind of show a different way. Yeah, because I... Uh, I always felt I never was heard. So now I'm finna, I'm finna make sure, I'm finna make sure you don't hear me, but you listen. Okay. Cause a lot of people could hear good, but not everybody know how to listen. That's true, that's true. I think we was just talking about people communicating. Communication can change a lot of things. If you listening and communicating effectively. True, so true. What what are you aiming for to be accomplished in your rap career? I'm aiming to see. I'm aiming to see if I can get to a Drake status. Mm. Can I do it? Yeah, can 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 he can he be looked at like? Can I be a can I be a street goat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you if you can believe it, you can achieve it. Mm -hmm. Well, you already doing sure. it on you know your way there. Sound like so. Just keep. I hope so. Doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Like you said, don't give up. You solo. You not everybody can come. So mm -hmm. as long as you keep that mindset, like I got to keep it moving. I mean, I might catch you on the other side, but right yeah. now I got to keep it moving. You know. Yeah, because right. it's a lot. It's a lot gonna happen along the line. That's going. That's gonna encourage you to 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 be discouraged. But mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta keep your you gotta keep your courage up. There. Keep it pushing, no matter mm -hmm. what it is. Absolutely. Another another question. Uh, what's young What's Young Magnificent's favorite TV series and why? Martin. <laughs> why Martin? That's just too original. You can't get funnier than Martin. <laughs> when I was back in the day, you you felt you felt like at home. Like he made you more comfortable. He made you feel more. He was in trouble when you put on Martin. It was like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. like, it was a funny show. It was. Yeah. it was a show you could definitely watch and get mm -hmm. some laughs out of. Talk Martin. 
Still yeah. to this day, people watch it. So it, it's mm-hmm. very, you know. Absolutely. And then what's your favorite movie of all times and why? Friday. All of them or just the first one? The first one. That's what that's what it was like with your dog. That's what it was like with my uncle growing up in the set. Like we on the porch smoking the weed. My auntie left us and serving our little shit, whatever, doing what we was doing. And yeah. Making ends meet. <laughs> what what's your favorite album of all times and why? Favorite album. Beg for mercy. 50 Cent. Okay. Okay. Why, why that why that's why that album? Just the craft, like the way he did it. Like for one, it's not it don't nothing sound the same. And how he 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 grabbed every he grabbed every topic mm. in one album. He went for the girls, he went for the streets, he went for the hurt. He went, he went for everything in one. He went for the dance and the party, the turn up. Mm-hmm. He gave you a vibe that on any level. So yeah, makes sense. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite drink and why? Capital H, Hennessy. <laughs> Hennessy is dangerous. <laughs> Capital H, Hennessy. <laughs> and the beat though. That violent, <laughs> that, that violent drink. You're right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it activated off Hennessy. Okay. Uh, your top five comedians in any order? Top five comedians? Yeah. Eddie Griffin. Cat Williams. Dave Chappelle. Bernie Mac. What you have in mind? Two more? Red Grant. Red Grant. Okay. Yeah, Red. Hey, hey, that's a, that's a jewel right there. Like, Gotta get your spur right, nigga. Yeah, that's a jewel right there. That's a jewel right your Red Grant. Yeah. And um, are you an animal person? Yeah, I love animals. Okay. What's your favorite animal? In the water, a dolphin, and then on the land, I like monkeys. Monkeys. Interesting. Right. Have, you just like <laughs> Have you ever held one? I can't wait. <laughs> you like it's no, coming. No. I get rich. I'm finna do all type of big kid shit. I'm finna <laughs> have fun. You hear me? I'll be at the zoo. You go <laughs> swimming with the dolphins. <laughs> mm-hmm. And all of that. Nah, swim with know. the dolphins. Lady yo, he gonna go swimming with the fishes. Lady yo. Gonna go I jump in the water with them dolphins. See? He gonna go snorkeling. I'll get in the water with them sharks too. I've been there. <laughs> oh, you are, hey, hey, you from LA, you already in the water been with there. sharks. You know what I'm saying? Been there, blood, bloody skin and all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You familiar with the battle rap scene? Man, I come from battle rap. I love battle rap. Shout out my dog, Gotti, man. That's my favorite battle rapper all the time. Can you name your top five battle rappers in any order? Yeah. Well, like I said, Gucci Gotti. Briz Rothstein, K. Sean, K. Rock, and Chess. Why don't nobody ever name females? I mean, uh, um, no disrespect. <laughs> um, I got a woman. Nigga. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm just saying. Shout out to the female battle rapper. I do rapper. not know them girls' names, baby. I don't know none of who? Uh, who? No. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, it's it's some it's some it's some uh it's some dope females. The hardest female is Jazz the Rapper. Mm-hmm. Give it to Jazz the Rapper, right. then I gotta give it to official. Official dope, hands down. Miss okay. Hustle, dope, raw and gritty okay. with it. Mm-hmm. And then uh it's two more KCJ and then uh 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 Vixen. Vixen. 
Vixen. Yeah. The assassin. Shout mm -hmm. out to Young Vixen. We need that combo, I, bitch. And mm -hmm. I think we need to add that uh, question in there because they don't never name no females. So, all right. But if it if it'll make you happy, Lady O, I'll I'll incorporate battle rap males and battle rap females. Absolutely. I appreciate you. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, top five uh singers in any order. Singers? Mm-hmm. Mm. R. Kelly. Male or female, it don't matter. It don't matter. R. Kelly, Beyonce, I'm just, I ain't going to go way back because I, I fuck them up and go Aretha Franklin's and Betty Rice. Right. I know. I'm going right. to do that. I'm going to say R. Kelly, okay. uh, Beyonce. Um, what's that girl name? <laughs> Ella, Ella May, that Ella girl, she could blow. Mm -hmm. Mary J. Blige, mm -hmm. for sure. And Chris Brown. Ooh. Yeah. Hands down, you gotta put Chris Brown in there. <laughs> did, did, did I ask you about the rappers? Your top five rappers? Top five rappers? In any order. Nipsey, Pop, Nipsey, Pop, Mo3. I'm giving it to Mo3 hands down. Mm -hmm. mm. Biggie Smalls was a dope ass rapper. If you really listen to him, so I'm I'm gonna give it to Biggie. And then uh Tupac. Fabulous. Mm. Fabulous is dope. Young Fab. Shout out to Fab. Shout out to Young Fab. Okay, okay. And then, what's your favorite football team? Cowboys. Yeah. Why the Cowboys? Man, we got beef, man. Mm, got beef, all day. man. I'm up top, man, with that star, with the gray and blue, man. I got, I, I got you. Is that is that the reason why, though? Yeah, of course. As okay. a kid. Since a, okay. That's all no, I know. No, no, no. no. See, yeah. but that's, that's politics. And see, what a lot of people don't realize is on the West, uh, a lot of us, the wrong hat, the wrong team, it gets you fucked yeah, up. Get you fucked over. No, not yeah. fucked over. It gets you gone. Yeah. It, it, so you, you're going to wake up dead. Wake up dead. You're going to wake up dead fucking with them hats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because, uh, like, like I, it makes sense. You know, it, it wasn't, mm -hmm. it was, it was inherited. So, mm -hmm. and the star is a star. So, I got you. I got you. Mm -hmm. Most hated. <laughs> That's star. That's star. I'm Dallas yeah. all the way. Who, who do you rock with on, on basketball? Who your favorite basketball team? Team? Lakers. Is that just the L.A. thing or is that really just, you know? No, you that's know? just Kobe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Favorite player of all time, Kobe. If you want to say favorite player that's playing now, top five, John ja Morant, Damian Lillard, Giannis, Steph, and Clay. Mm -hmm. Got this little, he got this little shit already ready. He, he, he ain't playing. He mm -hmm. already know. Prize uh, picks going since, crazy. <laughs> since you seem to be comfortable with that, we got a little section on our platform called Flick One. It's a G Connect questionnaire where we ask you to pick one of who would you rather 
do something with. But before I do that, let me ask you this. What, who Can you name like one or two people that you would love to get a feature or have a feature with if you can have it that way? Right now, y'all, Mozzie and Rod Wade. Who? Mozzie. Mozzie. Mm -hmm. And Rod Wade. Mm hmm. Okay. Mozzie and Rod Wade. That's a, that's a, that's, a, yep. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a pick right there. Mozzie, easy. Mozzie will fuck with you. Mm -hmm. I, I, I fuck with Mozzie. I met him. I met him. Yeah. You, you, you in that right, really you, you in that right connection and meeting. Mm hmm. Yeah, he, he was at the studio, I believe, so, recently, huh? Uh huh. Shout out to the big dog, man. Wag 100, man. Yes, sir. Wag be making it happen, man. Yeah, too shit. How he do it, I don't know, but he be doing it before he get her done. Mm -hmm. So, all right. All right, here we go. Uh, First with Nas or Jay Z? Oh. Damn, why you doing me like that, OG? <laughs> if, it, if it gets too I'm, hard to say both, I'm going. No, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going with hold. Why? Why? Why hold over Nas? Because not only do it relate, but he's giving knowledge too. He giving game. Okay. Master, he, 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 oh. blueprint. Oh, Daisy, for sure. Um. Master P or Birdman? Birdman. Uh, uh, Queen, you ain't shit. You hey. ain't shit for that question right there. You see the cowboy thing, though. <laughs> see, oh, see now. There you go, bro. There you go, bro. There you go, bro. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Okay, bro. This is respect. You know, shout out to my SF. You know what I'm saying? But uh, in, in, in that field, uh, <laughs> Hey man, we already did. We already crossed y'all off the list. This, 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 the beginning game already, man. We got that out the way already. So I, I salute y'all doing what y'all doing right now. Y'all couldn't, couldn't even handle the Eagles. We couldn't handle the Eagles. If y'all had, if y'all ever played, y'all couldn't handle them. Oh, we got the Eagles coming up. The Eagles we coming up. We got all the birds. We just, we just, we just, we just dealt the oh. Eagles over there. No, that was the Seahawks. Seahawks. Yeah. See, see, you thought you, yeah, you thought. I mean, what? It's what? All, we you think y'all gonna, 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 gonna be playing against the Eagles? Y'all ain't gonna be playing. You know what? I'm not about <laughs> to I'm not about to play with you, you know? Cause yeah, you know that hatred is real over you there. See how they, field. You see what they do? They they get beat, then they be like, Well, you ain't gonna beat them. Like, listen, uh, listen, we got y'all out the game. Didn't y'all just get didn't y'all just get dusted up? Huh? Didn't y'all just get dusted up? When? When y'all played us? I don't know. I wasn't. I didn't see that game. <laughs> I wasn't there. Oh. I, was like, I, was probably, I was probably in the studio. I didn't. Even, I didn't even see that game. In denial. Okay. Okay. I get it. I didn't see that one. Shout out I know. To the I know. Man. I know. We just. I know. We just did our thing for Thanksgiving, though. Oh, I mean, you supposed to. We did too. Yeah. Just stay out our way. <laughs> ain't worried about y'all, man. We ain't worried about y'all. We, we'll see y'all. Don't start nothing, won't be nothing. And we'll see y'all when we see y'all, bro. Don't start nothing, it won't be nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, go ahead, get back to it. You said, uh, oh, right, we're gonna, gonna go. go. We're gonna go with Soldier Slam. Soldier Slam or Big L? Huh? Soldier Slim or Big L? Soldier Slim. Okay. All right. Big E or Tupac? Tupac. Lady of Rage or Yo Yo? Yo Yo. Gucci Man or Young Jeezy? Oh. <laughs> Easy. He just made that little diss about uh, uh, yeah, Jeezy, easy. <laughs> oh, Gucci man did a diss song about what? Yeah, Jeezy, oh, damn. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Dre or Puff Daddy? Dre. 
Puff Daddy is out. What? <laughs> no, uh. They gonna be able to do it. <laughs> All right, Little Kim or Foxy Brown? Little Kim. Young Dog or Mo Three? Mo Three. Rest <laughs> his soul. Rest, rest in peace, both of them. Rest in peace, both. Of them. Yeah, both of them. Actually. Both of them. Both of them. Yes, both of them. But Mo Three. Three. <laughs> Rough Riders or Cash Money? Cash Money. Nelly or Ludacris? Ludacris. Kodak Stop. Black? Oh, huh? my bad. Huh? She said she was letting you finish. You, you was saying something about Luda. Okay. Luda. Okay. Kodak Black or the baby? Kodak Black or who? The baby. Kodak. Okay. Ice Cube or Snoop Dogg? Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm going with Cube. Greatest to do it, man. Mm -hmm. Eight Ball and MJG or UGK? UGK. Future or French Montana? Mm -hmm. West Side Connection or Dog Pound? Oh. It's West Side Connection. That, had, that was Mac 10 and Doug 10 and Yeah. No, I'm going with Dog Pound, dog. <laughs> I ain't Ooh, mad I, at I, I was banging Dog Pound. <laughs> Mystical or Juvenile? That's a cold ass matchup, but off the strength, I I love Mystical. When I was a kid, I'm going with Mystical. Mm -hmm. All right. That nigga, that nigga was crazy. Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? They <sighs> got a good ones. We got a couple good ones. Mm. Nikki. Okay. Kanye Nick. West or Pharrell? Kanye. Queen Latifah or MC Light? Queen Latifah. Ghetto Boys or The Locks? Ghetto Boys. Mm. Timberland or Swiss Beats? Swiss. Trick Daddy or Rick Ross? Oh, Trick Daddy's so goddamn funny. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I got to go with Ross. I got to go with Rick. I got to go with the Rose. Okay. Drake or Lil Wayne? Drizzy. Trina or the brat? Mm. The brat. Ask me to get thick for you. Too short or E40? Oh, I'm going with the 40 water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, DJ Battle Cat or DJ Quick? DJ Quick. Oh, I, I, I was expecting that. One of the coldest and first, first, first red rags to do it. That's right. That's right. DJ Mustard or Hit Boy? <coughs> Hit Boy. Rick Rock or Droopy? Oh, Rick, Rick Rock. Oh, Rick Rock. Or Droopy. Or Droopy. Droopy. Ace of Spades or Bel Air? Bel Air. 
already Please. know the answer to the next question. I know. I already know the answer to this one, but I'm going to ask anyway. Tequila or cognac? <laughs> Capital H is <laughs> right upside the head. Every time. Muhammad Ali or Mike Tyson? Ali. For the win. Right. Dennis Lewis or Evander Holyfield? Holyfield. Well, you hey, survived. You survived the questionnaire. G Connect style. We appreciate that. You didn't have to do no rebuttals. He didn't have no, no, no both of them. No both of them. Hey, uh, <laughs> uh, is, is it is it anything you want to is it any content you want to give us that we don't know about? We can talk about, bro. I'm tired of the lies, man. Get ready. <laughs> Open your ears, clean them out. Cause uh yeah, you said I'm about to say it ain't, it, ain't, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't got no choice but to stay there. It ain't going nowhere. You said it ain't got no choice but to stay there. It ain't going nowhere. Okay. All you right, know? we appreciate you. Hey, hey, I appreciate you all. Sound to G Connect, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, you get up. Crazy to have real conversations, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, nah. 716 yeah. degrees out now everywhere. Go run that bitch up, man. That's right. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Appreciate it. Y'all have a good one, man. Appreciate y'all, dude. Likewise. Right. Likewise.